Navigating the healthcare system can be a little fuzzy and overwhelming, especially when our society is always changing. But to answer all of our questions and to keep you from worrying is David Deaton from Mid Michigan Medicare. Welcome back into Studio 10. How are you? Thanks, Rochelle. Thank you. I feel good. Thanks. Feel good? Yes. That's so great to have you here. So I want to dive right in. Huh. Now, remind us, what is the annual enrollment period for Medicare and how long does that period last? So annual enrollment period is a time when uh, Medicare beneficiaries can take a look at the new plans that are coming out for 2024. And it's a really short period of time, 53 days from, yeah, it's, it started back on uh, October 15th and it goes until December 7th. So there's a few weeks left. Okay, so just that short period of time, but luckily you're here to help us out with this. Yes. Now you've been in this industry for quite some time now, but why are you so passionate about helping people sign up for the right Medicare plan? Yeah. Uh, I wish people could see what I get to see. So when I get to sit down with them and we pick out a, a plan that's right for them, I go through their doctors, their medications, where they would go to the hospital, and by the time I leave their house or they, they leave my office, uh, the stress, you can just see the stress fall off mm. them. Their shoulders are down. They got an easy smile, and, uh, and it's, a, it's a great uh, great service for them. Yeah, that's I great. love what I get to do. What is the difference between using a local broker as opposed to a 1-800 helpline or a trained volunteer? Sure. Uh, so the 1-800 helplines are they're they're really just call centers, <laughs> right? <laughs> so so you'll you'll call them, they'll get you into one of the you know a couple of plans that they have, and you'll probably never talk to them again. Mm. Uh, a local volunteer can help you sign up for a plan, but they're not going to be able to give you service for the for your life, right? Okay. They uh, and they don't have experience, they don't have clients, so they're not getting feedback from from people about what's working and what's not. Uh, mm. A local broker. Uh, I have a pool of clients who are constantly giving me feedback okay. and, and I have relationships with all the carriers in the area. So yeah. when, when I call, I don't call customer service, I call Lauren, right? And right. Lauren helps me uh, ans answer questions for my clients. And having a personal relationship with someone that you trust is really helpful, of course, when you're deciding on that proper Medicare plan. And mm -hmm. so tell me from your clients, mm -hmm. what is a common mistake that you see people making when they're signing up for Medicare? Yeah. Uh, one of the big mistakes that people make is going after the shiny objects in the plan. Yeah. There's all these promises about flex cards or you mm -hmm. can get thousands of dollars back in your <laughs> social security. And, and the fact is uh, a, a lot of those things are, are just to get people's attention. When they find out and they get in their plan, mm -hmm. they find out they can't go see the doctor they want to, they can't go to the hospital that they need to go to. Uh, it's, it's, a, it's a shock to them. So they have all this money on a flex card that they can't spend and also they can't go to the doctor they want to. And tell us why should someone use your services and tell us about some of the costs that you have. Okay, uh, why, somebody should use me because I'm local Mm -hmm. and it doesn't cost them anything to work with me. Their, the price of their plan doesn't go up or down, uh, but when they work with me, I only do Medicare. I'm mm. not trying to sell okay. them an annuity. I'm not trying to do all these other things. I focus on Medicare, and I think Medicare beneficiaries deserve somebody who is a specialist in this. And so when they work with me, they're getting a, a, a specialist. That's awesome. And I love that transparency that you have too. Now, there's much talk about the Inflation Reduction Act affecting prescription drug plans. What are you seeing with this? Yeah, so it's it's kind of hard to pro prognosticate what's going to happen with mm -hmm. this. You know, when uh, when they're going to have a max out of pocket on prescription drugs, and I guarantee it, somebody's going to pay for it, and it's not going to be the carriers. Oh. Uh, so. Um, it's important for somebody to work with somebody like me because we'll be able to uh, see some of those things coming and if people's drugs are going to start costing them more or less, okay. it's important for them to know about it. I'll be able to let them know. That's wonderful. Mm -hmm. Now, what if someone already signed up for a plan and after watching this today, they have more questions, <laughs> but they still want to talk to you. Can they still sign up for a new plan? Absolutely. There's a few weeks left up until December 7th. And so maybe, maybe you've signed up for a plan over the phone or maybe you just want to work with a local local broker like me because you know where to find me uh, we can get you in into a different plan all the way up until December 7th That's awesome. Mm -hmm. all right well thank you so much for joining us we're gonna have more information online and on our Facebook as to how you can sign up with mid-Michigan Medicare thank you so much for joining us again thanks for having me